Welcome back to the Python tutorial series. I'm so glad you're here. Today we will learn how to pack and unpack variables, tuples, and dictionaries in Python. So let's get started. Before we pack and unpack tuples and dictionaries, let's go over variable swapping. I'm going to set a value a equal to 4 and b equal to 5. And in order to swap these variables, all I need to do is do a comma b equals b comma a. No third variable is needed. Then if I were to print a and print b, it would print 5 and 4. And when I run it, there you have it. It prints 5 and 4. No third variable needed. Now I'm going to print a blank line and I'm going to create three variables, d, e, and f. And it's going to take on three values in a string, 6, 10, and 7. If I wanted just d, what I could do is dot split. Then this splits it for every space. Now if I were to print d, what this does is unpacks the strings 6, 10, and 7, and when I print D, it will print 6, and it converts the string into an integer because it knows 6 is an integer. So that's another nice thing. I'm then going to create a tuple and set this equal to 1, 2, and 3, and then I'm going to create three variables h i and j and set this equal to tuple and if i were to print h it would print one because that's the first thing in the tuple and now when i run this it prints one and there you have it if i were to do the reverse for packing and unpacking tuples i'll do var equal to h i j and now when I print var, it will print 1, 2, 3 as a tuple, since h, i, and j are 1, 2, and 3. If I wanted to make this a list and not a tuple, I could do that. And now when I run this, it prints as a list, 1, 2, and 3. Now that we know the basics, let's move on to packing and unpacking tuples. I created a file called packing and unpacking tuples.py. Now I'm going to create a function called packet that will pack a tuple. And the parameters aren't going to be a specific amount, so we're just going to say star args for any amount of arguments. Then we're just going to print the args. And finally, we're going to print the type that args is. Now I'm going to create three variables. I'll set A equal to a capital letter A, B equal to a capital letter B, and C equal to a lowercase. And then I'll call packet, and I'll pass in A, B, and C. And now when I run this, it outputs A, B, and C as a tuple. Now that we packed it, we can also now unpack it. So I'm going to create a function called unpackit, and it's going to take in two parameters x and y and then i'll print x and y i'm gonna create a variable called args and set this equal to a tuple which is 5 and 10 and then i'm gonna call on packet and pass in args as star args now when i run this it outputs 5 for x and 10 for y and that's how you pack and unpack tuples now that we know how to do it for tuples, let's do it for dictionaries. I created a file called packing and unpacking dictionaries.py. And like for a tuple, I'm going to create a function named packet. But this time, since we are passing in a dictionary, we're going to do two stars, not one. And we're going to pass in quarks. And then I'm going to print it. And finally, I'm going to print the type of it. Now I'm going to pass variables into a packet that will be a dictionary. And unlike key value pairs, we're going to have to have an equal sign. And I'm going to set A equal to animal and B equal to bear. And the variables cannot be a number. They must be a letter. And as you see here, 
when I passed this in, it outputted a dictionary with A as the key and a mole as the value. And same thing for B, B and bear. And the class, of course, is a dictionary. Now let's unpack it. I'm going to create a function called unpack it. And it's going to take the parameters C and D. I'm then going to print C and D. I'm going to create a variable called kwargs and set this equal to a dictionary. I'll have C correspond to cat and D correspond to dog. Then I'll pass this into unpack it and do the two stars and this will pass in the dictionary. It outputs cat for C and D for dog, which is correct. And this is an overview of how to pack and unpack tuples and dictionaries. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow along with this video series by subscribing and hitting the notification bell or by clicking on the next video so that you can expand your knowledge about Python. And as always, I can't wait to see you next time.